And here we are again. This is the latest video. July the 26th, which is a Monday. The second FMC is in. Nothing is connected right yet back here. We got a little bit of backlighting, but, but not too much. Somebody called up or email wanting to know, is that a dummy FMC? Yeah, they are. Because at this particular point in time, 999.95 is a little out of my ballpark range for an FMC. Uh, the next closest is 599.99, and then if you want to go and get the open cockpits one, the open cockpits version is something like 347 euro, which comes out to about 440 dollars American with the dollar fluctuation, and um, then it has to come off the video card. That's probably what I'm going to do as soon as I figure out a couple of more things and. SIOC programming. Uh, still do not have the ethos. It reads like it's supposed to, but unfortunately it doesn't do what it's supposed to because again there's software programming called SIOC which is totally foreign to the computer dunce that I am. I guess if you know computers it would be no problem, but Unfortunately, I don't, so I have to seek outside help, which so far has not arrived. Looking up on our overhead, voila, we have the aft overhead. Is it functional? No, it is not. It's still got to be wired up, but at least we got the darn thing mounted. It has a dummy gauge as you can probably see and the only thing that's actually going to be wired on this when it's completed is the flap slat indicator and the three lights that Jeff is pointing to which means nose gear right and left gear are working properly there's going to be green lights there same type that go in here and up here when you go into thrust reverse there's uh, a couple of, uh, I don't know whether you can see them, but there's uh, a couple of lights that are going to light up when you go into thrust reverse. And that's about all I'm going to mess with insofar as the aft overhead. But of course it will be backlit like the forward overhead. It's from Pole Dragonette. People keep asking me. Where did you get that stuff from? It's Pole Dragonette. As a matter of fact, most of this cockpit is from Pole Dragonette. Now, there was another fellow from Las Vegas that showed you basically the mess he had in the back. This is our mess. I'm trying to compete with him, but I think he's still got me beat. This computer right here operates the captain's side. This computer is not operational, and the same way with this right now. Probably put it to good use later. That is the main computer with the i7 and the 12 gigabytes of RAM. The old computer operates the center screen. The top computer sitting up on top of it operates the first officer screen. And the laptop operates the CDU. Um, screen. And as you can see I don't have quite as much wiring as Chris did and now that we're getting along most of this wired uh, wiring will be uh, wired together that is crimped together so they're all in one piece. You can see a couple of the cards that are kind of hanging here there and every which way still have the one projector that will change also and again the overview of this you can see that there's not a hell of a lot of room in the simulator just enough for the flight attendant to 
reach around and give you a nice back rub if you want it. Uh, the radios are flush now. The um, fire control system for the cargo is now flush. The um, <coughs> trim knob is flush. And now all we're going to do is build up around to put the missing panels in it. And that's about where we're at for a week's worth of pain and aggravation on this thing. Again, somebody asked me how much did it cost? Well, right now we're nearing close to 11,000 American dollars. And I assume before it's all over with, it'll pop up to around the 15, 16,000 mark, which is actually considerably cheap compared to other homemade simulators. This will be coming out probably within a couple of weeks, and the CP flight backlit MCP will be put in its place. This will be going up for sale on again the website my cockpit dot org so uh, we changed all the knobs out the knobs that you see here are from Sismo Solutions which is a Spanish company which makes a really really good product we will put the electronics in for the electrical system so we can see on digital readout everything and of course it's going to go in over there too I will probably at this particular point in time wind up getting the flight deck solutions pro, uh, equipment because frankly it's not as bad price wise as some of their other things are and in a relatively short period of time we're going to be starting the the windshield spars and uh, and get that put up and of course we have yet to get the six pack master caution our fire warning lights connected that's also coming right now we're sitting here at Sacramento Airport Sacramento International also known as Capital and we're gonna make a flight today we're gonna fly from Sacramento to, gee, guess where? Las Vegas. And then from Las Vegas, we're going to tootle on down or over, whichever way you look at it, to Tucson, Arizona. So we're getting ready to uh, start the engines and do the pushback and all that good stuff. So for right now, this is where the simulator is at. And when we land at lost wages I'll probably get the video camera going I'm gonna do the first leg of the flight and Jeff is gonna do the second leg of the flight so he can videotape the the landing when we get to Vegas so that's it for now thanks for watching again and we'll keep you updated on this thing as we progress